good evening sir good evening uh you have been one of the you know driving force for gulidas sangeet sammelan yes. could you tell us its inception its history yeah it's it's very interesting in the sense uh, uh it's some sometime in mid 70s uh, around 1977 uh, my father late pandit sir vas he in those days you know not too many classical music events is to take place unlike mm-hmm. today when there are umpteen number of yeah. classical music events are taking place but in those days it was not much so he thought why not i do a festival uh for which of course this trust had come into existence maharashtra lalit kala nidhi he and uh, one of the very famous journalist of yesterday as uh, uh, sri vidyadhar gokhale who was the editor of lok satta for many years both of them had founded this uh, trust maharashtra lalit kala nidhi with a view to propagate indian fine arts you know basically classical music classical dance to some extent marathi theater musical dramas with that view that was only conceptualized and the trust was formed in 73 but the actual uh, shape of this festival took place in 77 because uh, my father was the main person who mm-hmm. conceived this idea of having a music festival and the very first festival was held in uh, ravindra natya mandir prabhadevi in 1977 now when he conceived he thought there has to be a good title for the festival also so why not he he thought why not i dedicated to my guru and that is teacher so his teacher's name was uh, jagannath bhopurit late jagannath bhopurit who was a great doyan of uh, you know we have gharanas in classical music so he was a doyan of akra gharana and he had composed lot of uh, compositions and one of his very famous composition is rag jokkams and he used to uh, compose under the pen name called gunidas so that's how the name so it is late pandit jagannath bhav purit alias gunidas so that's why he thought let us put his gunidas yeah. sangeet sammelan so that's why the first festival took place in 77 and it used to be for 5 days for at least for 15 years we did like that for 5 days with three artists per evening it was a great and um, you know like people people used to really love that and is the same scenario today uh and during the uh, course of this festival's uh, progress and uh, success which it has got i must attribute most important thing is of course my father was the pioneer but equally the contribution in this uh, festival was by my guru revered uh, who is one of the greatest legend of our music uh, padma vibhushan pandit shiv kumar sharma his uh, contribution also i must say was quite big in uh, gunida sammelan i being his disciple and uh, you know like uh, family uh, tie up so close so in 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 formative years and for quite a number of years they were he was of great help which is even today and uh, apart from him i would say all the top notch artists of this country including uh, maybe if you if i start taking names it's a big name but i would like to just mention pandit ravi shankar ustad vilayat khan pandit bhim sen joshi pandit kumar gandhar gangubai hangal uh, pandit jasraj ji then uh, pandit of course shiv kumar sharma ji my um, guru pandit hari prasad chaurasia ustad zakir husain ustad amjad ali khan me i sometimes i fail to take kishori amonkar and uh, you know so many other Um, uh, top notch artist uh, of this country many of them unfortunately are not alive today and lot of present day maestros also like ustad rashid khan and um, ajay chakraborty ullas kashakar ashwini bide and uh, so many artist are with us without their cooperation this festival would not have reached this that is what most important is and of course the sponsors so we had different sponsors uh, for uh, for earlier first 13 years there was no sponsor particularly but for major part for last 20 years we had a ct as a sponsor and i'm so happy that this year we have tied up with tata capital and i am really thankful and grateful to tata capital for uh, coming forward and uh, joining hands with us to uh, carry forward this uh, gunida sangeet sammelan which i'm sure will be yeah. a big 
thing right and uh, so since it's in the 35th year it's a grand number in itself what motivates you every year you know to put out year after year a grand show like this i think motivation because i i being a myself a musician and uh, all said and done there is a inner feeling that we must present good music in pure form Uh, to the audience and gunidas has developed over the years a very good nurtured audience uh, and every year there are new people who join uh, the in the audience uh, of gunidas sangeet sammelan because if you i must say proudly one thing that we have never presented any item for attracting crowd like we put any fusion item or something which public likes you know we have always maintained this tradition of presenting a solo uh items of classical musicians who present their pure music in the festival that is the hallmark of gunida sammela otherwise many festivals have come and then they have um one branch out to presenting different things you know so from that angle i think it is uh, it's 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 it has been a uh, uh, great source of inspiration because right now i don't mind telling you that uh, now this is the last day Pandit Jasrath ji is performing at the end of the festival. I am already thinking of next year's dates and the uh, artist. And uh, fortunately, Tata Capital is with us. Otherwise, the tension is always there because uh, it costs money. And uh, if such um, companies which are having a social commitment, I think it, it's a great thing. This year in this festival, as you know, in we had Begum Parveen Sultana. She has been also with us for so many years. likewise hari hari ji uh, as i mentioned vishwamohan bhat all these people have been very helpful for us and uh, so do you think you know platforms like gunita sangeet sammelan are you no know, the platforms that should happen more regular to introduce a younger audience of course to, of course there is no no explore audience. indian classical music absolutely right absolutely right, right. and uh, so one last question what are your future plans as you already said you are thinking of next year's dates what are the future plans for gunidas no see i'll tell you uh, uh, i must mention here you know last uh, almost like gunidas used to be only in bombay from 1977 till 1991 92 but we we were able to expand it to other cities like delhi to begin with mm-hmm. then after couple of years in 94 we went to calcutta so imagine gunida sangi sammelan was presented in five major towns of india for last more than 15 years more than 15 years delhi calcutta chennai bangalore so i am happy that tata capital has tied up with us right now this year for bombay and delhi and i i look forward if they can help us more we can go to another couple of cities uh, my my aim is to um, take it to cities where not much of classical music activity is uh, done uh, that is one of the biggest aim you know uh, and also i try to if we make some um, i would not say surplus by way of doing gunida sammelan then we use that fund to put smaller programs of smaller in the sense in smaller towns with big artist because in cities like nagpur aurangabad they don't have any financial resources so they cannot get big artist to perform there because the budgets go haywire so we our trust then uh, caters to there because there to get a sponsor is very difficult in in such smaller you know the the medium size uh, towns urban areas i would say not the metropolitan towns and sir any last words for you know any young musicians who aspire to one day you know perform on gunidas sangeet sammelan stage yeah i think the uh, there are two three things which are very important for younger people to pursue classical music having may uh, you know they sh- they should learn from the right guru number two they have to really practice it guru can teach but the student has to put more efforts classical music is not something like computer where you press the button and everything is at the click of button and one cannot fool public you know because when you sit on the stage people understand ki how much effort he has taken it's not like bollywood where things can be done cut and pieces may they can promote any 
heroine or hero and make them um, big star of the country uh, it is very difficult in classical music so for youngsters they must have perseverance patience learning from right person right guru and uh, practicing it very well and having said that last of course is the fate uh, which is most important factor but only fate cannot help you must have a basic grooming basic riyas and all that and i'm sure if any talented person is there he will not be uh, remain uh, you know in the room he will be out and we have we are there to promote such kind of youngsters in our, on our platform when we find because we are musicians so we are traveling all over so we can make out who are the people that's fine so thank, thank you, you for thank yeah. you for your time sir okay